Hi, hi mga ka Welcome to my first vlog! At ayun na nga po, dahil sa uh, due to the public demand. Wow, public demand. So, ngayon, kasi hindi ako marunong mag-video editing. So, walang mga, walang mga, what they call this one, mga effects, effects. So, mag magsashare lang ako tungkol sa experience ko. As a Filipina traveling to Denmark with an with a with a child, so he is three year old. This is my son. Then hi ka, hi ka sa kanila. Hi. Yon. So how how to travel to Denmark under the new normal? So, sure, na pahalaki ng difference from from the previous travel namin together na nung nag-travel kami dito, na under na ng new normal. So, of course, syempre sa lahat ng travel, ano, sa lahat ng mga nagtatanong, sa lahat ng nagtatanong kung ba, paano ako nakapunta dito, under new normal, kasi nagtataka sila na nakarating ako dito. So, ayun na nga, so, so lucky din talaga na nakarating kami dito na at nabisahan ako. Iyon. So, syempre, bago pumunta dito sa Denmark, ang unang-unang kailangan ay syempre visa. So, lahat ng ang visa application before actually 3 days lang before ang aking ang aking visa application i'm not just bragging so i'm just telling you that my experience ko lang ah it is on my own experience disclaimer kasi ano tayo case to case basis depende yung case mo sa case ko so before before naman after 3 days nakukuha ko na yung visa ko so yun so this time medyo um para umabot siya ng a month 3 to 1 month siya. So, it's okay. So, not so long time naman kasi nga under new normal tapos naabutan pa ng lockdown. So, okay. Looking forward na. Ayun na nga. Nakuha ko na yung visa ko. So, that time nakapag after kong ma-receive yung ang aking visa, nagpabuk kami ng ticket papunta dito. So, we fly with Ay, no, 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 not pala Emirates. Hindi pala Emirates. Qatar Airways. So, they are very... Uh, because we used to fly with Emirates. We used to fly. Ayun na nga. Anyways, ayun, so Qatar Airways, we, fl we flew from Philippines to Denmark last August. August, la, last August. I forgot what is the exact date. Sa August kami nakapag, naka, nakapunta dito sa, sa Denmark. So, first thing, when you arrive in the airport, of course, hindi na siya katulad dati na hinahatid talaga ako ng aking mga pamilya uh, sa airport. Ma. Family, you know, alam, alam mo naman kasi aalis, ganun. So, that time, very minimal lang yung, konti lang yung nag naghatid sa akin. Doon marami pa din, mga tatlo, oh, apat, yata sila. So, yun. When you arrive in the airport, sulat. especially, okay, sulat. kasi doon yung magsulat. Talastas muna. Okay. Hmm. Ayon. When you arrive in the airport in the gate, you need to have your face mask. Of course, mandatory sa lahat naman ng in the public places. So, face mask and the face shield. Kung kaya ng bata mag-face shield tsaka face mask, ina, kailangan, pwede. Pero if it is not, of course, sa mga maliliit na batang ganyan, hindi mo sila mapipilitan, mapipilit na mag-face mag mask at tsaka especially face shield. So, sa Qatar Airways, Yon, check-in counter. Sa check-in counter kasi, meron sila ngayon, I don't know to the other airlines, but when we flew, uh, when we fly from the Philippines going here in Denmark, mandatory po na meron pong 96 hours uh, COVID-19 test. So, I, but that time, I'm re we really re rush na kasi, tas full na yung mga, ano, full fully booked na yung mga malalapit sa akin na na mga uh, test centers. So, what I did, I have one friend from the group uh, who shared with me na merong isang diagnostic laboratory in Pasay near Naiya, which is the Philippine Diagnostic Laboratory. So, you don't need to. They, they accommodating even you don't have you don't have uh, what they call this one, um, appointment Di, ano, all queue lang sila they have a, they have a walk in walk in so pipila ka at meron din silang drive through so 
yeah, doon. Makikita nyo sila sa Facebook. They are very accommodating and I'm really thankful to the Philippine Diagnostic Laboratory in Pasay. And yon. So, pagka punta mo doon, pag pila mo lang doon, isang puntahan lang doon because digitally naman nila sinesend sa email mo. Kaya dapat make sure that your email is uh, written uh, uh, clear, clearly so that they will send the, the result to you. Especially if you have flight, then you need to, to write down to them because it's supposedly uh, 48 hours to 72 hours, you results. But of course, if you have, if you have your, your flight two days before, so I think they can provide it for you a day or on the, on the day na, na magpa-fly ka because you need it on the check-in counter, on the airlines. It depends on the airline that if they are asking for the COVID-19 negative Tapalan. test. So, sa mga nagtatanong sa akin kung sinuwab test din ba yung anak ko, so, 12, ang Qatar Airways is 12 years old and below. It's, ma. it's okay to don't take a swab test kasi nga medyo, medyo, syempre malikot ang ating mga kabataan, kaya hindi rin nila... Thank you. Yeah. Welcome. So, ayun na nga. Bye. So, yung 12 years old and below, kahit na ano, hindi na, hindi na, hindi na nila kailangan na mag-undergo ng swab test. Only the, the parent or 12 years old and above na mag-travel. So, going back. Then, after that, when they check in, yun. yun. So, yung Qatar Airways, if you don't have any face shield at all, they providing. Meron silang, ano, meron silang face shield sa bata at saka sa mga adults. That time, actually, nung nag-fly kami, very, napaka-konti nung mga tao, mga puro OFWs, mga si, mga siman yung mga nakakasabay ko. So, syempre, harap na to na ng, ng, ng immigration. So, of course, all of us is dumadaan talaga sa immigration. So, interrogation. So, syempre, uh, siguro ang immigration, uh, they're not yet aware of in Denmark, we did, wala ditong fiancé visa. So, I have tourist visa. So, syempre, that time, yung restriction medyo mataas. So, it should be essential. And you need to prove to them that your travel is essential. Kasi maraming mga na-offload that time. Na-offload kasi tapos na. Na-offload that time because hindi daw essential. Especially yung may mga, <clears throat> may mga boyfriend and girlfriend abroad na na papas na pipisitahin nila so tourist visa that time is is sinasabi nila na non essential so though i have a, i have a kid so he is dual citizen so uh, kaya syempre she can he cannot travel alone so yun siguro naging yun yung ano ah, pinaka is naging essential because we're going to visit his father here in Denmark so ayun na nga so, after that, so many interrogations, then why they asking me why I have only the type C visa or I'm gonna, when I'm gonna go back in the Philippines. So, of course, it's a, ano, uh, it's a SOP, SOP questions na yun. So, syempre, uh, syempre kailangan natin i- uh, um, kailangan natin ipakita yung mga, yung mga documents that time. And that time, hiningian ako ng, ano, ng love, love letter. So, love letter, yung parang letter na nag inaalaw ka ng, 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 ng bansang pupuntahan mo dito sa Denmark na pwede tayong pumasok dito. So, ayun na nga, pinakita ko dun sa immigration yung letter from the embassy. Um, it's a Ministry of Foreign Affairs, MFA yon So, na ano na, isa essential travel naman kami. So, yun na, no question at all. Then, bago pa, after nung ano, after nung immigration that, that time, may isa pa na bago pumasok dun sa gate mismo, may mga immigration din doon. Then, here again, asking why I have a type C visa. And then, sinabi ko lang na ano, na kasi hindi pa kami kasal. So, ayun. Kaya, ah, okay, okay. Kasi, ano naman, dual naman tong aking, aking anak. So, they let, let, ano, nilet nilet go na ako nila. Tapos sa mga nagtatanong na may mga bata, 'di ba? Pwedeng magdala ng tubig, tubig 1 liter, tapos tubig dun sa mga ano nila sa mga sa mga feeding bottles nila. Kasi syempre, hindi naman pwedeng natin natin hindi naman natin pwedeng pabayaan ng pag nagutom sila magdedes ng tayo kukuha ng tubig anon. So inaalaw nila if you have infants or 
or a kid na nagdumedede pa. So, naalaw naman nila ang water. So, as long as may kasama kang bata. So, ayun pa. Uh, Doon na sa ano, sa what they call this one, sa boarding gate. Of course, syempre, pinaprioritize nila lagi ang may mga bata, mga matatanda, mga disabled, may mga person with dis disabilities. So, yon sa lahat naman yun, uh, standard yun. So, yon when we fly from uh, from Philippines to Denmark, sa airplane naman, Qatar Airways is the one of the best uh, airline company for me and really excellent customer service na masasabi ko talaga ay hindi ako nagano it's not it's not ano a paid advertisement so i'm just sharing i'm just sh sharing my experience yon so sa Qatar Airways talaga ano they are really good in in customer service at all talaga and yon pagdating namin ng Denmark so syempre if it, uh, wow it's a long flight so we've been, uh, we've been in Qatar so from from Manila to Qatar, there's around 4, four hours, 3 hours uh, layover, so it's not so long time. So that time, I have a group friend then na nag-suggest if I, if I wanted to, to download a, like a uh, trip case. So yung trip case is very, very helpful for me, baka sa mga gustong mag-try. Very helpful siya kasi pagbaba ko siya, pag, hindi pa ano, uh, pagbabang pagbaba namin ng, ng, ng aircraft, so, makikita mo pagka nakag-connect ka sa Wi-Fi and check mo yung trip case. Kasi first time kong gamitin siya. So, ano, I, I a little bit doubt. But, of course, you need to be aware of that so you can find it out. So, nakalagay dun yung gate number kung saan kasi yung flight ko. Ano, In-encode ko dun kung ano yung flight, ano, yung aking flight details. So, nung pagdating namin sa Qatar, nandun na siya kung anong gate number. So, syempre, diretso na ako dun sa, ano, sa, sa gate number na yun. Kasi, dun sa screen, sa screen na makikita na na-check mo kung saan kang boarding gate. So, medyo matagal pa, siguro mga an hour or half, what, an hour yata, bago nila nire-reflect kung saan kanilang gate. Pero sa thrift case, ano, 4 hours pa yung layover, ba So, doon, pagbaba ko pala yung aircraft, nakakorek na ako sa wifi. So, nakita ko na kung saan ako gate number. Pero, syempre, I doubt eh, hindi pa rin ako trust. Kasi first time ko ang gamitin yung app na yun, baka mamaya maligaw kami o maiwanan kami na aeroplano. Of course, I still wait and check it to the an hour yung as soon as nag-reflect sila ng, ng ano nila, ng flight, di, uh, ng anong gate, boarding gate, yung ano namin, yung flight namin. Chinek ko din, siyempre double check. Yun na lagi kong lagi ang ano ko eh, ang asa sa sarili ko. Lagi mong i-double check do meron kang apps or what. And especially, especially on the, on the, ako kasi si ba, sa ngayon, talagang lahat ano na, digital, pero medyo old school pa ako minsan. All of my flight details and my ticket and everything, I print it out myself and extra, you know. And extra copy, if ever, you know, something kumalobat yung phone ko or, you know, hindi na do may power bank or you know if in case that everything you know hindi natin alam at least meron akong meron akong hard copy to to show anyway yun lang yun lang yung mga bit uh, advice sa mga sa mga gusto talaga maging yung parang no, non hassle flight so ayun pagdating namin ng Denmark dito so iba naman yung that time it's a uh, they have they offering a free covid-19 test sa mga drive through So, pagdating na pagdating, pagbabang pagbaba mo ng, ano, ng, ng, ng airport, doon, after mo makuha yung mga bagahe mo. So, I have a friend also. Thank you. Thank you so much sa mga friend ko na nag, nag, we have a group chat kasi. Then, we sharing our, ano, yung may mga nauna nang nag-fly, yung mga experiences nila nag-sharing. Then, I'm sharing it to you based on my experience on myself. So, yon Tapos, sinabi niya sa akin kung saan, saan parking area pupunta. So, parking 5 yon Parking 5 for the, for the, uh, what they call this one, drive-thru COVID-19 test. Meron din naman silang walk-in, pero it's a really long queue. So, sa drive-thru is around, it takes only 10 to 15 minutes and we're finished. So, ayun. And that is all my, my stories about uh, having traveling from Philippines to Denmark with a kid together with you. So sa lahat po ng mga questions nyo, as, as much as I can answer, i-comment down nyo below and please don't forget to subscribe and like para sa mga, sa mga informative vlog ko sa mga susunod. Sorry, walang mga, walang mga edit yung mga ano ko, yung aking, ang, 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 aking video because I don't know yet how to 
how to what they call this one to edit so i'm just trying to it is my first time to vlog and to share those the, my experience myself to all of you at sa mga nagtatanong so yon isa na rin pala ako sa mga vlogger so thank you so much for watching my video at sana may napulot kayong aral or or uh or tips kung paano mag-travel to Denmark with a little kid or with a chi with a child with you. So take care guys, always safe. Be safe always at sana mag palagi ang magsuot ng mask, ng face shield kung kinakailangan maghugas ng kamay at lagi may alcohol sa bulsa. At laging tatandaan sa buhay ay parang gulong lang. Ikot, 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 ikot. Hanggang sa susunod na ating vlog. Inkita-kita tayo, mga kaburks. Bye-bye!